Hi there. The world of YouTube golf right now is really interesting, especially with the incredible rise of Good Good over the past couple of years. We've seen just the immense world of sponsorships and endorsements and uh, influencer deals uh, just, just rise out of nowhere for a lot of these guys. And it's really been picking up the same way that the, the PGA Tour players are getting club sponsorships from manufacturers. We're starting to see that be a bigger thing as well for the YouTube influencer golf market as well. So with that being said, you know, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to uh, create kind of a, a situation for you uh, as where we can we can basically talk about and showcase which golfers out there have a sponsorship right now of some sorts with a club manufacturer. Now we're not going to talk about like the good good guys with their good good putters since that's actually a one-off club as part of their their actual brand itself. We're not doing clothing sponsors and just because somebody has a club in the bag doesn't mean that it's actually a sponsorship. So in doing this research we basically found six different manufacturers that were actually pulling sponsorships for these guys. We found Callaway, PXG, Tacomo, we found Mizuno, Titleist, and Cobra. Now there may be others out there but in all honesty looking through these kind of things it's very difficult because really unless somebody has like some type of sponsorship content picture uh, or a picture like this on their YouTube somewhere where they basically it's just it's freaking obvious that there's some type of relationship going on there um, that it's very difficult to, sh to figure out exactly who they're sponsored by ex and what's going on with them it's not it, the easiest thing in the world to figure out who actually has some type of influencer ambassador contract with manufacturers some big big names to notice right now that are missing uh, names like TaylorMade, which obviously aren't lacking in recognition, aren't lacking in brand ambassador notice. Um, you're not seeing, you're not seeing um, uh, Ping, which honestly, in a lot of ways, I feel like they're trying, they're almost going more toward the old man market. You're not seeing Cleveland. You're not seeing Tor Edge. Um, you're not seeing a lot of the clone brands out there. You know the Bomb Techs. You're not seeing Birdie. Uh, Hathaway, uh, you're not seeing Sub 70, um, New, New Line, or a bunch of other uh, brands that do actually have, you know, player sponsors or whatnot. But anyway, let's get down to business. Let's sort out these, these YouTube guys and figure out what who actually is partnered with who. We'll get into some problems about who's not partnered in, in a little bit. And by the way, if you don't see your favorite golfer here, it doesn't mean that I don't, that I'm, I, I'm ignoring them. Like I said, unless they have something like this, it's ridiculously difficult to find this information. But if it's not obvious in their in some way on their uh, on their YouTube profile or in some type of Instagram post, then it's not an official sponsorship. It's just homeboy is pay is paying out of his own pocket to buy these clubs, which I don't consider that to be the same thing. So that being said, Zach Radford. Zach Radford is going to be sponsored. Uh, by uh, to by Titleist. If you notice on a lot of his videos, he's got pretty much all Titleist clubs, irons, drivers, the works. He is a, he is a sponsored by Titleist uh, guy. It's just it's obvious. There's too many posts that feature exclusively close-ups of the Titleist clubs. No, there's not something going on right there. Uh, next up, we have Kyle Berkshire. And one thing I've noticed is that Callaway. Callaway has a lot of things going on. You've seen him use Callaways before, but in all honesty, he's actually with Cobra right now. If you look on his Instagram, you will see that he has King Cobra uh, sponsored content, showcasing the driver heads, showcasing sponsorships about how he can get you can get his 5.5 degree loft driver head specifications ordered. So he is currently playing underneath Cobra um, right now, uh, as far as with his clubs. We have we have Wesley Bryan. Wesley Bryan is uh, is of course you know spe features periodically on George Bryan Bryan Bros Golf. Um, now again he's actually on tours, so it's a little bit difficult to place him. But he is sponsored by Callaway. We are seeing him on on Callaway right now. Uh, Bubby Golf. Bubby Golf is of course playing with Tacomo right now. If you go all over Tacomo. Tacomo clearly has a, a very close working relationship with the good, good boys they have right now, and that's very smart by them. You're seeing them all over their content. It's very, very genius of them to work with these the, the guys that they have 
and build their name recognition and be able to establish themselves in a lot of different ways. Um, it's it's just it's always impressive whenever you see this kind of stuff. Uh, when you go uh, over it, also you have George Bryan. George Bryan again falls underneath his brother's banner with Callaway. Uh, there's just too much content related to Callaway to to not say that he's part of that. When you go over to Luke Peavy, Luke Peavy, the club champ. If you go over to his "What's in the Bag" video, it'll be very obvious that he has a sponsorship with PXG. Um, clearly, it's not a hardcore like. I have to mention PXG every single video type situation, but he is sponsored by PXG. Um, Steve Castaneda of Good Good, he is sponsored by Tacomo. Again, it's very obvious. They have all the videos, but hey, man, I, sp I signed a club deal. Hey, man, I got fitted. Hey, man, you know, and then also, of course, the videos on the Tacomo channel. He is sponsored by Tacomo. Garrett Clark, Mr. GM Golf itself, the mastermind behind Good Good, we have him sponsored by Mizuno. He, he is part of the duo that is sponsored by Mizuno right now. Um, if you're a fan of, of their channel, it's pretty obvious. It's not like a hidden question mark. There's too much mention about how Mizuno hooks him up whenever they whenever you know uh, they went to the UK and his clubs got lost, or um, he goes to a Mizuno uh, manufacturer's tournament event, goes to the Mizuno manufacturer's site with. It's just too much information there. He has a deep sponsorship with Mizuno, and Mizuno is playing that one very well. Uh, by the way, I want to say great job on Mizuno in the last 15 years. They've completely turned around what their perception was. For, when I was growing up, Mizuno had a perception, at least to me, of being a women's only brand, and they have totally changed that around. Good on you, Mizuno. Um, next up we have, we have James Wiltshire. James Wiltshire is a funny thing. He was actually a brand ambassador for Callaway for a long time. However, if you go on his channel right now, you will see that he has a lot of Cobra information going on, a lot of Cobra stuff uh, on his on his channel. Uh, it just became way too obvious that he is play is in some way affiliated with Cobra right now. Uh, if you go over to his Instagram account, it'll it'll talk about Cobra as well. The guy is sponsored by Cobra right now. So he was he was with Callaway back in 2019. He's no longer with Callaway. So uh, next up we have the Bust of Jack Boys, uh, Cole and uh, Cole and Mason. These guys are with PXG. There's a video on their channel of them going to the PXG Master Fitting site in Dallas. Uh, really cool video. Anytime that you get to go with the actual like manufacturer and they give you the full attention. That to me is really, really a great experience because you know the manufacturer when the when they are sponsored sponsored content situation. You know the manufacturer is giving them all their attention, all their focus. I freaking love that because you just don't see that very often whenever you yourself are going to get there. But when they are actually putting the money into making you look good because they want you to look good with their clubs on, the, on your channel. That's a big deal. You know they're getting good fit. So I always love watching the, the content of the guys getting fitted um, at the actual manufacturer sites. Dope stuff. So next up, we have Mr. Hole in One himself, Matt Scharf. Now, Matt Scharf, it's kind of was a funny thing. Uh, good, good with the six guys that they had going into the summer, to get included in that. It was really, really uh, pretty smart how, uh, you know, uh, Mizuno had two, Cobra had two, Tacomo had two, and so Tacoma and so Cobra picked up Matt Scharf, a uh, Mr. Holding One himself. Um, so I was always kind of surprised by that because Matt is one of the weaker players on Good Good. Um, however, he definitely has a positive attitude, definitely has great swing potential and power, and in real talk, if he really put the work into it, has the potential to get really good. Um, so for him going with Cobra was a smart move for Cobra. Great job on there. Next up we have Tig. Tig, as you know, is in an awkward kind of funky spot at this moment of making this video. We don't really know what his full status with Good Good is, even though we can assume that it's you know a gone situation. But he is with Cobra. Huge signing with them. Still has 300,000 subscribers on his own. However, he's been getting replaced by Luke Kwan, which Luke Kwan... If you look on his channel, he has three plus videos in, in the last two years exclusively showcasing off Callaway content. So he is at this moment still with Callaway officially. However, 
He is with Good Good now. I could fully expect somebody trying to snipe him if they already have if they if he doesn't have some type of paid relationship or sponsored relationship with Callaway at this moment. Um, that's official official. I could totally see Callaway making a move to try to get like something real talk in there. So Matt Fryer, Matt Fryer uh, on his channel, kind of a funny one because he, he's always wearing Mizuno hats. But if you watch his channel pretty closely, you can see tons and tons of, of Titleist content, tons and tons of Titleist focused content, especially the TSR driver, and then of course the irons and the wedges. It's just too obvious Homeboy is involved with Titleist in some way. Because obviously, we all talk about our clubs if you play, but at the same time, when it gets to be a point where you're, when you got like, nothing but like videos focusing on the fact that you have this driver it becomes obvious that homeboy has this driver our last boy from good good of course mr grant horvat is of course also with mizuno mizuno did a great job of picking up both garrett and grant as the two are essentially on you know uh they, you know, they're basically you know tweak x craig you know type level of bromance right now and they're always playing together, they're always doing videos together, so pretty much Mizuno gets a slew of content uh, featuring only their clubs with both of those two guys. Their clubs have a very distinct look, so it's obvious they're always hitting them, even whenever you're just seeing the top side of their clubs. Smart move on Mizuno. Mizuno has, of course, those two good, good guys, which are two of the better players on good, good. Then you have the pelvic cervix crusher himself, Martin Borgmeier, long drive guy. And if you don't know this, the dude is with Callaway. Tons and tons of Callaway focused content from years back. Still is rocking Callaway focused content. Still is showcasing off the Rogue ST model, even though I'm showcasing him with the Maverick model right there. That dude is a cervix destroyer, straight up Viking god, and he is with Callaway. So as you can see kind of the spread amongst YouTube golfers, now obviously you're not seeing Rick Shields, you're not seeing James Robertson, you're not seeing Peter Finch, Mr. Short Game. Those guys may have something going on, but real talk, it's not obvious. There, there, there is just, there's, there's nothing obvious with those guys about what they're using uh, like as their sponsorship because they're, they're, just, they're just not. Uh, they're, they, they do a lot of club reviews, so you're seeing tons of different clubs pass, pass through on their channels which may, be, may have been sent to them by the manufacturers themselves for reviews. That's possible. It isn't the same as a, like a full-time, like, you're rocking our clubs, you're an influencer for our brand. So, real talk, at going forward, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, if as YouTube golf for entertainment value becomes more of a thing, as things like YouTube tournaments, the good, good majors, things of that nature pick up, you know, will we see the guys from Bob Does Sports get in, get in, get in, an influencer deal? Uh, you know, picking up some, picking up with people like Tour Edge or whatever. You know, will you see uh, situations like uh, like uh, Cleveland? Uh, Taylor, will Taylor Made finally jump on board and sign up with somebody? Uh, I, I don't know. These are all kind of kind of funky things. Uh, yeah, I'm not including uh, Deshambo on here either. He's by Cobra, if you don't know, um, but. Real talk, if I forgot your favorite person on here, it's probably not because I forgot them. It's probably because I just could not find a specific, like, oh my gosh, they are clearly involved with somebody. Um, and real talk, what are you guys' thoughts below? Put it in the comments section below. Who do you think will, will become involved with somebody in the future? As always, have a great day. See you around.